Hey, everybody. Um, fun fact, Google says that there are 15 ways to say goodbye, and farewell is the most dramatic, emotional, heart-wrenching one, and you'll never see the person again. So that's the title of my poem. Um, here it goes. Goodbye is different from a farewell in the way a fractured femur is different from a shattered spine. A goodbye can fade, but a farewell will last you a lifetime. The last time we said goodbye, the night was wrapped around us like a backwards facing Snuggie. I can't say the right. <laughs> the first time we said goodbye, the night was wrapped around us like a backward facing Snuggie. And the rhythm of your finger on the back of my hand had a direct connection to the beating of my heart. You said you hated goodbyes, and I didn't want to leave. So with the following day, with a heavy heart and salted cheeks, I let you whisper, see you later on my lips, before I boarded my machine. The next time you said goodbye, I yelled it into your ear and roared my pain into the pillow that I had wrapped your shirt around. We built our castle on a bed of sand, and you were slipping away like grains of coral between my already trembling hands. You are a tattoo on my heart, my own special brand. But I have spent 547 days not being your girl, and you are no longer my man. I never wanted you to go, of course, you understand, but it seems that our goodbye was already written in the plan. And now you're back, and it seems that the divide we survived. I'm scared to love you again, I'm scared that I never stopped after all these times. I want to ask if you're still mine, am I still yours? But if we have to split again, please be a fractured femur and not a shattered spine. Mm -hmm.